rise of young adult fiction has reached new heights over the last few years with a slew of book adaptations, one of them being the Maze Runner series. I am far from being the aimed at audience for young adult fiction, as I'm one of those sods that picks holes in the inevitable breaks in logic that makes up the verisimilitude. There is the general stereotype of young adult fiction with the plot that goes. The protagonist is a downtrodden teen with hidden powers in a downtrodden society who wants to suppress them via a generic bully and a secret twist regime hiding some world cataclysm that the teen can solve in a running series in a vague but uplifting finale. I would say how much it fits into the movie, but the movie is more a holding pattern than anything else. Most of these questions are probably answered in the sequels and the characters are mostly just stock tropes that at the only point where they start becoming interesting die because they know. The big turn from the usual formula they went with this time was the maze, which on a personal note just feels like they've now reached the early 90s video game level of padding. What's worst about the movie was the fact that they did a twist on twist ending which ended up undercutting the finale and the sequel hook. I know it wasn't meant to and probably won't from a story perspective, but if you think about it, it actually did. Having the head of the evil organization return from a fake death after the big twist exposition dump undercuts everything she said because she was lying about being dead so she could just be lying about her entire exposition dump. Did the sun explode? Are zombies a thing? Well, the person who did the big finale exposition dump can't be trusted because she faked her own death and the only other people who know are now dead because they became too interesting. So who the fuck knows? This is the problem with amnesia storylines. You have to have the exposition done by characters you like or have actual resolution to the movie. This movie does neither. Overall, nothing actually happens. People introduced, the bad ones die, the good ones live, the world cataclysm and the organization are flicked towards the screen and the film ends. This film certainly seems like it's best watches the entire series in bulk because by itself, nothing happens and it's kind of boring. 